Hello, and welcome to Discovery Channel, where you are tuning into The Mindset. We are going to take a journey on Chapter 3, Into the Mindset of Accomplishment. <laughs> Come with me. We will now go into the mindset. There you are, uh, well, uh, let's get right into the school achievement. As we progress through school, it begins to grow more challenging for most students. The work becomes more difficult, grading policies become more demanding, and teaching becomes less individualized. However, while most students struggle with these conditions, others thrive. Why? We are categorized into one of two mindsets, the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. Research has shown that students possessing the growth mindset excel at school achievement. Even when these students become overwhelmed, they will do whatever it takes to complete what is required of them. Those who have the fixed mindset cannot handle increased pressure and struggle. Achievement is only possible through clear focus and lots of effort. The growth mindset gives people these traits, which enables their abilities to grow. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. We are now entering the negative labels. As you can see, it is very cold in this area because of the cold and cold-hearted words that are being said in this zone. Come with me. Let's go. Mom, no. Let's go. Let's go. Mom, Let's, Mom. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Mom. Sweat hands, skinny arms. Did you cut, comb your hair with a grease pork chop? Negative labels and how they work. Achievements are what proves efficiency. When you achieve something, you begin to practice it and get good at it. And you do it more often. One thing that can weigh heavy on your shoulders is an insult. A negative label. Negative labels can prevent achievements greatly. Put it in perspective. You just learned to ski. A better skier calls you out and says you suck. Putting an end to your personal victory. Negative labels relate to a system called stereotypes, assuming or profiling someone with a fixed mindset to provide a negative label. That person sits with a group that is low in intellectual pursuits or that a person has bad grades, so they aren't very smart. Discrimination still fits in this category. That is how negative labels work. Oh hey, there you are. Let's dive into artistic ability. Perfect. Oh, it's a pull. It's a pull. Is artistic ability a gift? Some people are born with abilities while other people have to work for them. Artistic abilities can come natural for some, which can be discouraging for others if they don't have them. It can be easy to identify who has what natural ability and even easier to identify the people that don't. What's important is that we remember those who put in work to be better at something. To me, the most important quality isn't something that we're born with or have a natural gift for. It's important to be willing to strive to make it seem like you have a natural gift, whether that be basketball, school, socializing, or art. Hey Shane. Being able to receive a gift at birth is lucky, but how far can luck really get you in life, besides winning the lottery? Luck is inferior when compared to hard work. Beside, oh god, because hard work can and will get you farther in life if you strive for it hard enough. So yes, artistic abilities definitely are a gift to some, but other gifts are better to receive than others. Right now we're in the epicenter of the mindset, where the praise lives. Let's dig in. Sully, very good job on that test score. John, you good work on that quiz. You must have worked very hard. The way we talk to people has an effect on the way they perceive themselves. 
you tell someone that they are very smart and they then fail a small quiz, they will feel as if they are not as intelligent as they have been told. If you tell someone that does good on a quiz they, that they must have studied hard, they will feel as if they have accomplished something that they can accomplish again by working hard. If you tell someone that they are a gifted mathematician, they will feel as if they must live up to that and be a gifted mathematician. And any small failure will make that person feel inadequate. When you label someone, it should be a label that they can achieve instead of something that was given to them. When they, when they can't keep up, they, they may feel as if they have to lie to everyone so that everyone still believes that they are smart. Instead of praising someone of their intelligence, praise their persistence. The mindset's overheating! Look at the dials! We gotta get out of here now! Let's go! Discovery. We talked about school and achievement, positive and negative labels, artistic, and praise. I'm so happy that you may have learned something today and you can bring home and share it with your family, your friends, or possibly your pets if you're that sort of thing. People are people. But I would just like to let you know that we're going to be parting ways in a few seconds or minutes, however long this takes. But thank you for tuning in, and roll the credits, please. Welcome to JSS Book Report. Today I'm joined by John and Shane Pilanti. Today we're going to be talking about the book Mindset, one of my personal favorite books, and we're going to hear what they have to say about it, too. So, let's start with... Uh, we have a thousand reviews! <laughs> Sing it is the best freaking book you've ever seen. I swear to you, I am governor of California, and I love this book so much. A thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six. John, your turn, seven. John, what do you have to say? Eight, nine. Yes. Yeah, it was nice. And a thousand. It was nice. You make me uncomfortable. Well, I'll just touch up with say it was probably one of the greatest books ever. It was great, great, great. The wording was used very huge, huge, huge. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I'd give it a ten out of ten on Rotten Tomatoes. Hold on, Kate. Great, Hold great, on. great, great. My huge, huge. Huge. Once if you ever see a bad review on it, it's wrong. It's fake news. Yeah, this book was great. Great, great, great. Huge, huge, huge. Best What's book ever. And let's wrap up the show with that. Have you ever tried to disguise? All right. I can see that I will have to teach you how to be villains.
Ooh, this is 